Short ribs. I haven't really seen these on supermarket shelves, but they are great. So go and see your butcher and support them. It's only a nice thing. Short ribs are a tougher cut of meat and really benefit from being cooked low and slow, eventually the connective tissues in the meat is going to break down and that's when the meat is just going to start to fall apart. So first up, we are going to season off the meat by heavily salting the outsides and when I say heavy, I mean it. You really need to go heavy on the salt because that salt is going to do two things. One, season the meat and two, it's going to help pull some of that moisture out of the meat so we can get a really nice crust on them just because we are going to be searing them off in a minute. browned we're just going to remove them from the pan and just turn our attention to our aromatics. So for our aromatics I have got two carrots and a few celery sticks and one large onion which I have already sliced and diced and I'm just going to go in the same pan and start to sweat these down. This really benefits from a medium low heat, so you allow the natural sugars in the veggies to slowly caramelize. Add some salt, which again is going to help get the moisture out of the veggies and speed up that caramelization process. So after about two, three minutes, you want to add a heap tablespoon of ground cinnamon, as well as a heap tablespoon of cumin powder. After about six, seven minutes, all those natural sugars in the veggies should have caramelized. Now I'm just going to add some acidity to our dish in the form of tomatoes and some red wine. So I'm just going to quickly hack these up and just get them into the pan. in the red wine about three quarters of the bottle and really you don't need anything expensive just a cheap bottle of red wine will do now cook this for about five minutes to cook off some of the alcohol in there then we go back in with the ribs and just cover it with some beef stock So we've got the ribs back in the pot, meat side down, we just cover it with just enough beef stock. Now really, if you don't want alcohol in your food, you can just double up on the amount of beef stock and that'll do the job perfectly. I've chopped up some cloves of garlic, which I'm just going to get in there as well as some celery salt, which any stews really benefits from. And lastly, we just add in about two 
to three bay leaves. So we'll bring this to a simmer, then we put the lid on and put this in the oven for about three hours at 160 degrees Celsius. These ribs have been blipping away in the oven for about three hours and they have just fallen off the bone and look and smell absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Whilst that was happening in the oven, I made a beautiful creamy mash. So all we're left to do at this point is have a little serve up and get tasting. And we are just gonna get some of that amazing glazing that's in that pot onto the ribs and just dive in. It's absolutely beautiful and everything about the food is super tender and warm. That's it, a really simple recipe to pull together. It is an absolute showstopper, so I actually hope that you go and try it. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe to the channel for lots more videos just like this. And don't forget to like the video, leave a comment down in the box below, letting me know whether you're going to try it. I guess that's been it for this one. Until next time, look after yourselves and don't forget the secret ingredient is love.